give me 10 reasons why you don't like potatoes because that's an offense potatoes are like oxygen you can't not like them you mean how oh, how hello <laughs> today I'm, I'm happy actually today i'm happy because i'm about to eat the most amazing beans i don't even know what they are called but i just know they're a family of beans let me show you i want to sort them so that they can boil them later and cook them i don't know if you can see this is how they look like i don't know what they're called but i love them and yeah so you'll watch me sort my beans while i talk about whatever i want to talk about i actually don't even have a topic i just feel like talking because i'm happy so what to talk about food let's talk about food because why not actually i love food my favorite food is potatoes potatoes in any form because potatoes are just magical i don't know why people if someone tells me they don't like potatoes i'm usually like why don't you even like potatoes why don't you like potatoes give me 10 reasons why you don't like potatoes because that's an offense potatoes are like oxygen you can't not like them you mean how oh, how so talking about food uh i'll share my experience uh i'm sure the people are I'll mention here will know what I'm talking about and I'm sorry in advance to my cousins I'm going to share a story that I was with you but I mean it's not that sensitive so it's a story that <laughs> actually I had known what was going to happen but I didn't want to change the narrative of the day because it was not my day I just wanted the the person of the day to have their day well so i put myself aside because it's not about me so my cousin was finishing high school last month so us as her other elder cousins we wanted to go for her in school to make her feel good that she has finished school so we went for her now after all those hugging being happy being merry we are done we are taking her somewhere to eat before that day we had asked each other what we are going to eat on that day because i mean we are taking someone from school and she has to eat something nice so we were all like uh i ended up telling them that just i didn't carry a place to put the dirt let me let me go for the dirt tin so after we had taken her from school and it was now time to go home we had to take her somewhere to eat because i mean she's from high school and you know how <laughs> when people are from boarding school all they want to do is eat after high school because i mean after i was done with high school i didn't go out for almost one month because first i'm an introvert two food is home i have my bed i have the internet why should i go out so yeah we were taking her to we took her to kfc because that was the quickest option that we could think of and it was nearby so we went to kfc so as everyone was ordering thinking what they wanted to eat in my mind i was like uh i don't think i want junk food not even thinking i knew i didn't want junk food because i don't know i think i'm getting older and i'm becoming my parents where i don't want to eat junk food so i was like uh, how will i tell them that i don't want junk food but at the same time I have to eat with them so as we were still ordering at the line at the what the line i was looking at the kfc prices how some of the things are so overpriced for no reason you eat one potato for a hundred shillings like what even though i love potatoes like what and then i was calculating in my head um if I pay 450 shillings for this streetwise, um, I don't think I want to give KFC my 450 shillings for something that's probably not even good for my health. 
So I ended up telling my cousins that I will not be eating KFC because one, I don't like fast food. Two, it is too damn expensive. And three, it's just me. I decide things randomly sometimes and I'm like, yeah, I'll go with that. And sometimes no, I won't. So as they were eating, they're all looking at me and they're like, oh, you're not eating. Like, let me share with you because one of my cousins shared her, her meal with me. I don't know if she wasn't hungry or she just wanted to share with me, but I appreciated it. And so I just had to eat because um, I wanted them to feel comfortable. My cousins, I'm sorry, but I wanted you guys to feel comfortable. No, I wanted them to feel comfortable because I didn't want to make them feel like, oh, we should have taken, we should have gone to a restaurant where we eat whole food. And I knew it would have taken us ages to decide which restaurant to go because of me. And I don't want junk food. I'm just that cheap girl. And I'm like, no, let's just eat here and yeah the day will end well with the day person being happy that she has eaten what she wanted to eat so after they finished their meal we went home and since i had not eaten with them like i was not full like they were because they had they had like three pieces of chicken with fries and i had like a piece a piece of a piece of chicken with some fries so they were full so we went back home when we went back home the first thing i did is go to the kitchen and prepare myself a meal i even prepare i ate something i prepared something from the fridge because i mean it's home and the food that's there is healthy and i'd rather eat healthy food than eat kfc food actually before before we took our order at kfc there was this guy this cashier who was serving us and i asked him just jokingly how often do you take KFC and he was like oh I eat it every day I was shocked because I'm here thinking about my health about my future in terms of eating junk food and then there's someone who eats it every day that was that was weird I hope he was lying because how do you eat KFC every day anyway the moral of this story is that most of our parents don't even tell us why they don't eat junk food with us they just buy us things like you, you go tell your dad dad i want kfc and he buys you kfc but then he doesn't eat that kfc so i was usually like why are you giving us poison and you are not taking why are you poisoning us so i started growing up telling myself that I won't be eating things that parents are not eating because there's something they know that they are not telling us and we are their children like why why are you not telling us um, they usually because most of the time when the let's say when we were young parents would buy us fries and chicken from a restaurant and then for them they'd either just take a bite or not eat at all and they'll go home and eat something healthier so i was usually like why why are you doing that to your children even i know your children are young but why should you let them eat something that's not good for their health and you know but you don't stop them i mean it's love love is just weird that you just want to give everyone whatever they want regardless of the repercussions i don't understand that psychology i don't i really don't understand but sometimes parents used to say no but they still bored and i'm like so now that I'm a bit older, I know that I know why parents do not eat junk food and I have made it upon myself not to eat junk food because it doesn't help me. Most of the time if I eat junk food, I usually just feel uneasy. I'm either sometimes you find that my moods are just off because of either the oil that was used. <laughs> I don't know. When I eat junk food, I just become someone else and i don't want that in my life so yeah i have adopted a healthy eating lifestyle whereby i am choosing my calories that's a lie that's a lie i'm not choosing calories but i am just keeping track of what i'm eating right now so that i don't have to start keeping track when i'm older 
because you can imagine if you start taking care of your health when you're in your 20s by the time you're in your 50s you won't have to not eat most of the things because you didn't take care of your health when you were younger because yeah me i don't want to not eat some of the things that i have to eat because i spoiled it for myself when i was younger you get i'm looking out for my future self by eating healthy things and actually by eating healthy things i am saving a lot of money because kfc was 450 i saved my ass 450 because because i can eat the food that your parents are eating they will never disappoint you like they will not disappoint you because if your parent is eating it the parent knows it's good and they might tell you to eat it but they know you won't eat i think that is the reason why they buy people junk food because they know you won't eat let's say greens with ugali they know you won't eat that so they'd rather just buy you fries so that you have something to eat you don't starve to death yeah i think i've found my answer anyways look into your eating habits because i've also done i've done a lot of research on food actually and food and i've realized that your stomach is actually your second brain are you here yeah your stomach is your second brain so whatever you put in your tummy has to be beneficial to you because all that you ingesting is actually going to your brain at some point and to the rest of your body so if you find yourself after eating junk food you just sleep or you just you become stupid or <laughs> But you don't remember things just know your second brain is suffering it is suffering and you need to help it before it dies because if you don't take care of your brain your two brains or if you don't take care of your body who will i mean your body is the temple of god why should you feed that to the temple why do not be cain please be able some of you would say abel but be able because Abel offered all the good. It was vegetables, I'm not sure. But what did he give God? He gave God the, the first harvest or the best, I don't know, the best of the best of his sacrifice. But then his brother, I, mean, I can't remember that story well, but his brother gave something that was not the best. And I don't know why he killed his brother. I am diverting. Anyway, be able and drink water it's vegetables actually 90 percent of your food should be vegetables and i'll put out a video about food some some other time a real video about f actual food not my story so yeah that is the video and i think i'm done with my beans let me show you again if you know the name of these beans please just tell me i love them and i don't know the name one of those scenarios when you're passing near the market or at inside the market you see a mama selling some beans that you've never seen and you're like ah oh, i have to try this so that was me last week ended up buying them and i ate them like no one's business adios bye bye